Okay, Aaron, I saw your question and I wanted to show you there's actually two different ways to scroll inside of ClickFunnels. The first one will jump you immediately into that section and the other one will scroll you to that section. So the whole page will go by in about maybe half a second and it'll get you to the item. So let me show you the two different ways you can set that up. So let's say we want to scroll all the way down to this video element at the bottom and you can scroll to either a section, a row, or an element itself, but let's say we want to scroll down to this video element. Whatever you scroll to will end up at the very top of the page. That The top of that element will end up at the top of the page. Now, in this case here, because we're running out of page, it'll get down as close to it as it possibly can. So let's just go in. The first way to do this is you go in and you just click on the pound sign and you copy out the CSS ID selector. So we'll copy that out. We'll go up to our first element that says jump to the element. We're going to turn this into a hyperlink and we will take out the pound sign and replace everything with the ID and then that one is done. So let's see how that works. Let's click on save and then preview it. And as we click on jump to element, it will jump us right down to the video. Everything wasn't even done loading yet, but I jumped all the way down to the bottom. Let's just do that again. We'll go to the top and it jumps us down to the bottom. Now, if we go back in to the editor page, we can set it up to scroll down to the same element. So we'll click on our settings and down to the hashtag. And what we're gonna take out this time is the title, the CSS title. So what, let's just change this, say, let's call this, um, scroll to video and the only reason we would change that is you might have more than one video on the page and so you want to make sure it's a unique name so let's copy that out and let's click on update and now we will scroll back up to the top and we will put in our second hyperlink and this time we're going to leave the pound sign and we're going to type in the word scroll dash and then we're going to paste in that title that we got from down below and we are going to save that come into our page where we're going to preview it we will reload the page well it doesn't want to reload so let's go back and we'll click on preview Okay, there we go, finally. Now we will click on scroll to element. And as you see, it kind of slowly scrolled down. Page isn't done loading yet, so let's just click on it again and the page just rolls up. So it all depends. If you want to just jump to the element, you click on this one. If you want to scroll to the element, you use that one. So I hope that was helpful.